Welcome back. Illegal combinations acquiring medical marijuana in Illinois will soon be legal, but a proposed rule by the Illinois Department of Public Health could put certain residents in a tricky situation. Now, the rule states that if you want pot, you'll have to give up your guns. IDPH says that there's a reason behind the law, and it comes from Illinois State Police. News Channel at 9's Mike Brooks spoke with law enforcement officials about the proposed law and brings us his latest report. There is a rule in there that does discuss the FOID card and uh, having a medical cannabis registry ID card. That rule says clearly that you cannot have both a FOID or concealed carry card and a medical marijuana card. Christian County Sheriff Bruce Kettlecamp has been a vocal opponent of medical marijuana. I would hate to see anybody in possession of a firearms if they're, the in, uh, if they're under the influence of narcotics or if they're under the influence of uh, alcohol. But he does not support this proposed rule. I just don't think uh, anyone should have their Second Amendment rights taken away from them because they're on prescription for a painkiller. Ghetto Camp is more worried about the people with driver's licenses and medical marijuana cards because he doesn't feel there's an accurate way of testing drivers to see if they're under the influence. I don't have many many murders in Christian County, but I have people killed in in accidents, uh, and what and that's what really concerns me about somebody driving under the influence of marijuana. We're not going to be able to detect that. There's no way that we can do a field sobriety test on an individual. Uh, that under the influence of, of marijuana. The proposed rules would still have to make it through the Joint Committee on Administrative Rules. Member Dale Ryder believes that this rule may have some legal issues. The federal courts have declared that a person has a Second Amendment constitutional right to carry a concealed firearm for their personal protection. Now the Department of Public Health is weighing in through these rules and saying, well, you don't get to exercise that constitutional right if you also want to do this. In Springfield, Mike Brooks for News Channel at 9 on Fox Illinois. Well, we reached out to law enforcement officials from other departments to gauge their reactions to the proposed rule. The police chiefs in Springfield and Lincoln both told us that they support the measure. But the Jacksonville police chief and Sangamon County Sheriff both told us that they don't feel a medical marijuana card holder should lose their right to own firearms.